Do you have an event coming up where you would love your own custom cake topper? They can really be put on anything from wedding cakes to birthday cakes, graduation and baby showers, and they're really just a beautiful way to top off your featured dessert. What's great about using acrylic for a cake topper is that it's completely food safe, and if it gets any little dust particles or fingerprints on it, it can easily be wiped off with a soft cloth and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. This is a cake topper that I cut with my X-Tool P2 laser using mirrored gold acrylic. So I'm gonna show you the settings that I used, um, how to design it, how to cut it, and as you're going through, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know in a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. So this is X-Tool Creative Space and I already made the name that I'm going to use. Uh, I made this in Illustrator, you can also do this right here in Creative Space. Make sure you overlap them somewhere and then you can unite them so that it's just all one cut. The top tier of the cake that this is going on is eight inches across. So I am making this seven inches across. For the size of the pick, I'm going to make it five millimeters wide and about a hundred millimeters tall. That is about four inches. And this cake topper is going to just be placed down on top of like flat frosting. Um, if this cake topper were going onto a top that had a lot of flowers or other decorations and it needed to kind of stick up past that, then I would add a couple more inches to that and make the stick six inches long before I attached it. And then we're also going to add a little triangle and make that five millimeters wide. We're going to center those horizontally and then move the rectangle down uh, so that the rectangle and the triangle just barely touch. Then select both of them and click unite so that they're uh, all together in one piece. For deciding where you're going to uh, place the stick, you want it more or less in the center, um, but put it somewhere where it's kind of close to the bottom of the whole name shape. So I'm gonna put mine here um, underneath this little swoop after the M. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to insert a line that I'm just going to drag from one side of the pick to the other. And I'm gonna leave that as a score line, and that's going to let the pick part of the whole cake topper be snapped away later. Then you're gonna select the stick and the name and unite those together. But make sure that the little line is left separate because that's going to be score and everything else is going to be cut. So you can click on the stick and then hit shift and click on the name. So we're going to set our own manual settings for cutting this out. So we're going to change the power to 40 and the speed to 12. And then for the score line, our power is going to be 10 and the speed is going to be 20. All right, then select everything and reflect it. Do a mirror so that it's backwards because we're going to cut this from the back side of the acrylic. So here's the front side of that acrylic. You can see it's super shiny uh, mirror finish. It came with a plastic sheet on the front. I've removed that already. And then you're gonna carefully set it face down uh, so that the kind of gray side is um, showing. That's the side that we're gonna cut. Okay, so my acrylic sheet is in the machine and I'm gonna use this capture close view to click on the bottom corner of the acrylic sheet. That way we can see that up close and make sure you select the name and the score line and bring that over and zoom in so you can get that as close to the edge of the acrylic as possible just to save material. 
I hit the auto measure to make sure the focus is good and then click the process button. Click start and then push the button on the machine to start the cutting process. And I'm going to let you hear uh, the volume and sound that the machine makes. It's a kind of noisy machine. It's not obnoxious, um, but it's just good to know that this machine does uh, have a pretty good sound that comes out of it. When it's finished, you can open up the lid and carefully lift up the whole sheet. Some of the pieces will fall out right away. And then you can see a couple of the smaller ones that I had to poke at them just a little bit uh, to get them to fall out. So you can see that this comes out with a really beautiful color and shine. And even though it's thin, it's still quite sturdy. It has some flexibility to it. This is where I put that score line so that after the event is over, the little pick can be snapped off and the top part can uh, be kept in a memory box or even glued onto a piece of wood for a piece to display in the couple's new home. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch all my future laser videos as well. See you next time. Bye.